Hello, this is Jeff Holsinger. I'm going to show you guys today a quick and easy way to copy your models to the external SD card that's plugged into the back of your radio. As many of you already know that the Android system that's in our radios does not write to the SD card directly. A lot of guys think it does when they find the menu that says export, export models but when you export a model in the iX20 system you're really exporting it to the internal SD card which you have no access to so this way this procedure is going to show you how to write it to the external SD card and uh, it's a little complicated and a little long but I'm going to try to do this in one take and if I screw up uh, just bear with me so anyway what you got to do is you got to go out to your Google Play Store and I want you guys to download a third-party app called Total Commander. Total Commander has been around forever. It's uh, part of the PC world, part of the Apple world, part of the Android world. And it allows you to manipulate files, move and transfer files and delete files. So I want you to get that on your radio. Once you get that on your radio, you're good to go. Next thing we want to do is we want to go out to our Spectrum Airware. Once Spectrum Airware comes up, I want to save specific models or all my models. So anyway, the model we're going to save today is called Test. I've already created that model and I want to save it. Now Android is real sensitive to long presses and short presses. And when I say a short press, that means a tap. And if I say long press, it means press and hold. So remember Android there, it's real picky about short presses and long presses, so this part's important. Pencil, I want you to short press the pencil. Okay, then I want you to long press the proceed button. Okay, so now you get your screen, and this shows all the airplanes that's on my model, or my radio rather. I want you to short press the three dots in the corner. Now, where it says export models, I want you to hit export models. Now you got a selection here, export your models. It says select all, you can hit select all and I'll show you, it'll, it'll light them all up or you can pick a particular model. Since I've already backed up all my models to the SD card, I'm only going to do the test model today. So I'm going to hit test. Now here's where guys think when they hit save to disk, it's right into the SD card. It's right into the internal SD card, which is not accessible to the to the public. You want to be able to write it to the external SD card, but first of all, you've got to get it on the internal SD card. So we're going to hit save to disk. It saves it. Now it says it saved it to download airware. That's important because we're going to have to remember that here in just a few minutes. So we've saved that model to the internal storage card that's inside the radio. Now we want to go to our Total Commander. Bring up Total Commander. It may come up in different ways but if it does I want you to hit your home button on both sides of the screen until your screen looks like this. So that's that's Total Commander's home screen. So you got two halves. This half over here is going to represent our internal storage and this half is going to represent our external SD storage. So I want to click on internal storage. Now remember we saved that model to the internal storage under downloads. So you got to go down here and find the file download. Click on the word download. Light click. Then it also said the next step was airware. Click on airware. Light click. Okay. Now I want to go down and I want to find that file that we saved internally to our radio. Test. There's the one we found. So it's there. Now on this side of the radio we want to, you click it once and it expands the screen. I want you to click it again and I want you to go down and you'll see all these models that I've previously saved on my external uh, SD card. And just a quick note, they're all saved files and their SPM files and the reason they're SPM files is because those were DX18 files that I put on that SD card to get them into my radio because I wanted to take my DX18 models and put in my iX20 and I'll do a video on how to do that uh, on my next video and that's a little complicated but I, I think it needs to be done 
So anyway, so these are all SPM files because they came over from my DX18. So now we're going to click back here on the left hand side. We're going to see where it says test ISPM. And the difference is between an SPM file and an ISPM file, this was created under the uh, IX series and then the SPM files was created under the DX series. Don't really matter. Don't don't get hung up on that. It doesn't it doesn't care. So I want to take the internal storage and put it on the external storage. So I'm going to go down to my test model and I'm going to hit the file, not the not the name. I have to actually hit the little file. I'm going to long press and hold it and keep your finger on it. I'm going to drag it over here to the right hand side and let go. Now it says it's going to copy and move it and I'm going to say copy. So I just copied it to the external SD card. So just make sure that that actually happened. We'll go down through here and look and there it is. Lord and behold that says test ISPM. The reason it's ISPM and not SPM it was created on this radio. So there it is. It's on the external SD card now. While I've got you here, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it if you if you don't want it and you just want to play and experiment before you actually do it. So if you click on the, the words beside the file, you're going to get the stuff that comes up that you don't want. That stuff doesn't mean anything to anybody. So that's why it's very important that you click on just the right spot. So I want you to click on the file the little file there. Now some um, versions of Total Commander that'll be a little Android man. Don't get confused the little Android man works the same but mine shows as a file. That's the way I've got it set up. So I'm just going to click on the file and I get a green check mark. Once you get that green check mark in that file you hit your trash can and it'll ask you to get rid of it and I just got rid of it. I'm going to expand my internal memory side and I don't want to clog it up anymore and I have to so there's that test file I'm going to click on the file okay got a little green check mark click on the trash can and hit yes so there you go everything that I've got on this radio as far as models is now backed up on my external SD card as a hard copy some guys like that because that's what they were used to with the previous radio versions the DX series but uh, it's up to you how you want to back up your models. The next video I do will show you how to back your models up into the cloud and also how to back your models up onto a PC. But this video was done just for the sole purpose of how to back up your models on your SD card so that you have a hard copy. Thanks for watching and if you got any questions reach out to me via Facebook and uh, I'll be glad to talk to you on the telephone and we can go through this.